they'll come um, against. When you're writing, do you find you lock yourself in a room, or do you travel all over the laptop? I do have one spot where I do probably 75% of my writing is in, is in my office, uh, but sometimes I do get a little bit of, uh, uh, get stir crazy, and I literally, you cannot physically, if I go in that room, I'm going to vomit. Uh, <laughs> I cannot go in that room anymore. Then I will uh, take my laptop and write somewhere else, and, and I like writing my laptop, and I, I, I write when I travel, uh, I, so I, I'm capable of writing elsewhere, and I like writing elsewhere, but still probably a majority of it's in one spot. It's where all my research notes are. It's where I have everything sort of gathered. So it's a little easier to write right there. But uh, that doesn't stop me from writing elsewhere. Yes, I'm sorry. You, but yeah, I think he had a question first. Yeah, um, That'll come right back to you. What are some of the, the uh, other authors that, uh, that you like to read? Other authors. That's a, I, I read across a wide gamut of different genres. Uh, it's one of the reasons I actually had trouble knowing what I wanted to write. When I searched, first started writing short fiction, and I tried a bunch of different genres because I, I, you know, I read mysteries, I read horror, I read science fiction, I read fantasy, I read thrillers. Uh, I haven't even dabbled occasionally into the literary. I used to try to read like the, uh, the Pulitzer Prize winner every year and the Book Award winner every year. Um, though I can say I've never read an Oprah Book Club pick. Um, <laughs> though I did read one book that became an Oprah Book Club pick, and that was The Road by Cormac McCarthy. That was a stupendous book if you've never read it. Um, so. Favorite authors, you know, I can spin around my room and name them all. One of my favorite authors, and I keep plugging him because I really like him. His name's Dan Simmons. Anybody know Dan Simmons besides me? Mm -hmm. A couple hands. Dan Simmons. Uh, he just does, he does not get the notoriety he needs to. This guy is an amazing writer. Uh, I don't know him. He owes me royalty though. I keep <laughs> plugging his books. The guy also writes a bunch of different genres, but unlike him. Or rather, unlike me, like him, I, I'm secretly Dan Simmons, I'm plugging my own work. Uh, unlike me, he's very he he uh, wins awards. You know, he writes science fiction. He wins the Hugo Award for the best science fiction novel of that year. He writes a horror novel. He wins a Bram Stoker Award for best horror novel of the year. Uh, he writes mystery. He wins the Edgar for the best mystery of them. So I, I it's a love hate relationship with uh, Dan Simmons. So I like him, but then also uh, for fantasy, George R. R. Martin's very hot because of Game of Thrones. But I've been reading George R. R. Martin since you know bit back before he disappeared in Hollywood and started doing Beauty and the Beast. I'm a huge George R. R. Martin fan. Um, when it comes to mysteries, uh, Nevada Barr is one of my one of my favorite mystery writers, simply because she sets all of her mysteries in the national parks. Uh, so to me, a bit of a naturalist myself, I just like the way she creates the national park in and of itself becomes a character in her mysteries, and I really like that. Um, what are the genres? You know, of course, Stephen King. You know, who doesn't like Stephen King? You know, I, I picked up my first Stephen King novel when uh, Salem's Lot first came out in the bookshelves. That's when I uh, read that and scared the pants off of me. Um, still waiting for Stephen King to go get back to his roots. I'm still waiting for that really good Stephen King. I'll keep reading them, just hoping it's going to be a Salem's Lot or a Shining or something along that line. So, can I tell you? Can I tell you the Joe Hill? Oh, were you here when I told you the Joe Hill story? Okay, I'll tell you quickly, uh, just a quick side, it's short. Joe Hill, uh, oftentimes I get, an, I get offers from uh, young, uh, unpublished authors to blurb their stuff. They just, the books are just coming out, they need to, uh, similar to the way Douglas Preston blurb me, I love to give back. You will find many my, my name on many of these books where I have recommended them. Uh, Joe Hill submitted his book to me through his editor. Um, I loved it. I still think to this day it's one of the best page and the opening page and a half of that novel is just brilliant. I remember reading that, getting on the phone and, and actually read aloud the first page and a half of that novel to a friend of mine. It's just the coolest first page and a half of a novel. So of course I, it's a horror novel. I read, I read his editor back with a with a blurb for that, and it's like, oh, this is a great novel. I love this horror novel. Here's your blurb. You know, Stephen King wishes he could write this well still. <laughs> Well, what I didn't know, because it was being kept very secret, was Joe Hill is Stephen King's son. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that she didn't accidentally just hit, like, forward, here, Joe, here's your blurb from James Rollins, with, you know, kicking your dad in the nuts besides. 